All right, so this is the start of the 3215A uh, repair series. Uh, I think I can get this done in, in probably two to three videos. Uh, but it, kind of the first part is I kind of want to show you exactly how this thing works. Um, and also at the same time go over some of the specs now that I have a technical manual. So um, like I said in the first video, we have our, the front axle is actually the hydraulic tank um, or reservoir. Uh, which is connected to this series of pumps. There's a charge pump and then there's three um, hydraulic pumps uh, forward of the charge pump. And so we'll go over each one of those. You can see the supply line right right there um, that's going to the reservoir and you can see the, the flow line here. Um, certainly a substantial amount of flow. Um, but anyway, you can kind of see that, and then I'll show you what I have to repair on the front. The parts are ordered. They should be here sometime early this coming week. Um, and then also I wanted to discuss the engine a little bit more. After quite a bit of research, everything else, um, it is a 3 TNE 78. Um, at least that's what it, the manual, according to the manual, that's what it says. And it is either 25 or 29 horsepower. It is listed at two different places in the manual. Um, so I don't know what the horsepower output is. It's either 25 or 29 or 29.4, something like that. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of wanted to go over that. And the reason you can tell it's a 78 aside from, uh, Aside from just uh, the, the manual is the, the shape of the water, some of the components on the water pump in the back. Uh, that differs between the 78 and the 84. Um, so it's one thing that I use to differentiate it. So um, I'll get the technical manual pulled up. All my pages are already marked um, and we'll go from there. I'll kind of explain what I'm doing. All right, so here's the technical manual. Um, covers all those models listed, lightweight fairway mowers. Um, this was, I guess, January 2001, uh, replaced, so TM 1534. Uh, if you don't, if you don't use technical manuals for some of the stuff you're doing, I would highly encourage it. I, I know they're expensive, but the amount of information they provide is, and, and how easy they make life sometimes is just amazing. Um, so here, we'll start off, first page of marked, uh, 3215, 3215A, and 3215B. Um, and I think this is where I've already discussed the horsepower differences right here. Um, so the 3215 had 3TNE78JSL. The 3215A had the 3TNE78JF. And the 3215B had the, the 3TNE82A. Um, so I'm guessing maybe this is the 25 horsepower motor this is the 29 horsepower motor, and then this is the 32, 31, 32 horsepower motor, or maybe right here, power output's listed at 29.4 horsepower, um, along with uh, bore and stroke. Uh, so yeah, there's that. I'm obviously a little tired. Uh, startability, I've never seen this listed before in any of the technical manuals that I have, but I don't have that many with diesel engines. Uh, without a block heater, down to zero degrees Fahrenheit, and with the block heater down to minus 20. Uh, I'm not really sure why you'd be starting one of these in the middle of winter, because uh, if you're mowing fairways in the middle of winter, you probably have other things that you're doing wrong. Um, so, let's see here. What's my next page that I've marked? Oh, here it is. Here's the confounding information specifications. For the 3 TNE 78, and so right here it says that there's 25 horsepower. Um, so I don't know what to believe, whether it's 25, 29.4, or 31, or whatever. Uh, so we're going to say it has between 25 and 31 horsepower, which is gracious plenty for anything that I'm going to do. Um, we can tell a little bit, a rated RPM is 3,000, uh, fast idle no loads, 3125. Um, 3175 stuff like that I'll be testing all of that as I go forward um, so there's all the specs for it uh, oh I almost forgot let me go back up here to this one um, let's see here I had to sell the weight oh here it is uh, dimensional weight the 3215 and 3215A was 2400 pounds um, so on the little 
over a ton uh, for the whole machine. Uh, this technical manual actually covers the real units, uh, unlike some technical manuals that do not cover uh, attachments, which I'll go over some of those here in just a minute. All right, so the big thing, hydraulic specifications. Um, the charge pump is a Danfoss. Uh, it's got a 4.25 gallons per minute. Those are, that's the drive charge pump. Uh, and then you have the hydrostatic transmission. Gives you all those all those specs there. Uh, most importantly, um, when it comes to specs, is well here I'll just explain how it works. So you have the charge pump right here. Um, we're not going to concern ourselves with these three pumps up here. You have these that go to the valves that will go to the wheels. What is broken is the the line that runs from this wheel right here. This line that runs all the way around, let me trace it right here. Basically, it runs all the way around and back to uh, back to this right here. Um, so that is what is broken. Um, that's what I have ordered to fix. So uh, hopefully that's the right part. Uh, these were available as four-wheel drive units. You can see those, the four-wheel drive motors in the back. Um, but basically what you have to do is you have to drain the hydraulic reservoir system. Then you can pull the motor out, the hydraulic front motor, um, or the wheel motor. Uh, you can pull it out, and that's how you replace those lines. Um, so, with that in mind, uh, here's some schematics for theory of operation, etc. Pretty interesting. This is how I kind of figured out where everything was going. But, in order to keep this video short, um, interesting thing here, uh, we have the... The real motors and the real pumps. The real pumps, there's three of them in, in uh, sequence. Each one is eight gallons per minute. Um, and then the real motors are Danfoss uh, motors. And that's how you go forward and back on the pumps. So this is the way the whole hydraulic system, the real drive system. So you have the triple pump assembly right here. So this is the charge pump, the rear, uh, the, the charge pump right here. And then you have one, two, three, uh, triple pumps. Those pumps are what powers the reels. You can trace those lines to different valves um, and then you can trace them to uh, the, the five different motors as you go through uh, the machine. So um, that's just a little bit about the tractor um, or mower. I guess you'd call it a mower um, and just kind of show you what technical manuals do. Uh, once I get all the parts here, I will go ahead and um, start working on it. Uh, may not get done for a couple weeks, but it's at least in the shop now. I got it in the shop. It's a little bit crowded, but it's in the shop. Uh, and we'll decide what to do after we get it running or going in both directions. So anyway, um, this should be a decently short video, about seven, eight minutes, something like that. Um, and look for more on this later. Thanks for watching.